Discord, you're starting to fade away. Oh, how interesting. This is either an animation error or genius foreshadowing because the Discord on the pillow is disappearing. Fluttershy explains she needs to go to the market for supplies immediately after Discord offers to magically pop stuff into existence. Nothing personal, Discord. Your magically processed sugar cubes just aren't as good as the organic, non-GMO, free-range sugarcane harvested by starving griffins. Discord breaks the fourth wall to give us the finger. Smear frames are definitely not an animation error, but the cursed ones like this will haunt your nightmares all the same. Poor Fluttershy. If only Discord cared for her the way he cares about the back of this birdhouse. The most chaotic thing about this scene are the horns not being akin to a cheese grater against Discord's hands. The faucet sticks around a few frames too long. And so does the mask line left by the floating sheep. How do I make my tea party for her even more perfect? Uh, were you talking to me? I'm talking to myself. Recognition no, doth not, not a sin me. undo. Discord can't disrespect his elders if he's millennia older than every pony. It just tastes good. Tea seller is not very good at selling the appeal of different teas. This offensive expression should be censored immediately. Judgy clerk pony. How rude of the credits to only include Judgy's last name. A teapot that just pours tea. But that's all teapots are supposed to do. Teapot seller is not very good at selling the appeal of different teapots. Discord demolishes Equestria's economy. Or maybe not if their unamused reaction is anything to go on. Income from Discord is probably a separate tax bracket. Discord teleports to the middle of town instead of his destination because he needed more time to deliver important exposition. Derpy chats with a perfectly still lily statue. Also, Derpy! These lava lamps are always turned on, even while stocked on the back of a shelf. Snakes turn into bonuses. Party crackers change color. Trans trash can jumps to a different shelf, among many other continuity errors. The mystery of pony ages has been solved by this birthday candle display. Every pony is either 3, 33, or 333. Where can I find my cart? I left it right here just a moment ago. Door handles swap sides faster than Discord a few seasons ago. The biggest disappointment of this episode is the piano sofa, which doesn't sound like a piano. Piñatas hate bats. Well then, piñatas have bad taste in episodes. Discord commits mail fraud. This creepy couch is nowhere near as creepy as this couch. Leave it to Discord to provide us the truly egregious sin of scrolling through Discord. Discord proves you're not a true Fluttershy fan until you have a fursuit of her. In fact, I feel completely normal. There's nothing normal about wearing a full set of clothing in Equestria. We don't normally wear clothes. Discord and Fluttershy agreed to meet in the afternoon, so does that mean she had to stand around for multiple hours ready to be teleported at any moment? No bathroom visits or conversations with others, because that would certainly make for an awkward interruption. Fluttershy says this is her first time here, yet this quick look is all she sees of the Chaos Realm, as if she's been here before and isn't the least bit curious. Clearly she's hiding the fact she's been here and is secretly a Chaos God. Greetings, friend. Discord is so respectful of your waifu that he voluntarily leaps into the friend zone. This clock is very bad at keeping time. Discord begins fading away after two minutes of not being chaotic. This retcons every moment he's been unable to be chaotic, such as when Tyrek took his magic, or when he trekked into the Changeling Hive. Good thing Discord doesn't fade through the couch, and is still able to interact with solid objects when the plot demands it. Fluttershy's cup and saucer disappears. Meanwhile, Discord's magically separates just so we can see him correct it later. Fluttershy channels true chaos by taking four bites of six distinct sandwiches. This offensive expression should be censored immediately. Fluttershy's chaotic ideas are so identical to Discord's from earlier that it proves he's not the only one peeking at the script. Also, it's thanks to Fluttershy that Discord is becoming so predictable that his chaotic ideas don't even phase the meekest of ponies. Meaning, the more Fluttershy gets to know him, the less chaotic he is, and the more likely he is to fade away again in the future. Stop the Fluttercord shippers! This relationship will inevitably kill him! Fluttershy is in a hurry to undo Discord's disappearing, but risks his life to take the time to find the proper PPE, because safety first! Also, we know Discord can't pop items into existence anymore, so where did Fluttershy get these? Or the hammer and nails for that matter? <laughs> Gesundheit. Germany exists. Is the sin which would be here if the choice to include it by the translation from Polish to English wasn't such an immersion-breaking one? There's always a bigger fish to sin. How about we 
me try some of those delicious looking sandwiches. Fluttershy is tired of being an animal loving pushover. She truly just wants to hunt and kill for food. <gasps> Discord! I can't wait to see how. Uh, oh. You have to knock this tea party out of the park for her. 